You know, someone abandoned that infant less than a mile from a safe haven baby box, less than a mile from a place where newborns are kept safe and also protects the mothers from prosecution. So we wanted to make sure that everyone knows how this program works. Jenny Runovich is here with how Safe Haven aims to really make a difference. Well, these boxes in the Safe Haven hotline have helped Hoosier moms in need surrender dozens of newborns since this program started three years ago. Now, these are boxes under the Safe Haven law that allow a mother in crisis to anonymously surrender her unharmed, unwanted newborn. They're usually at fire stations or hospitals. The baby must be 30 days old or younger. The boxes are like incubators with heating and cooling features. And an alarm notifies 911 as soon as a baby is placed inside so that first responders can take the child to the hospital. Now this program has been very successful. In fact, just this year in Indiana, it's been able to help safely surrender seven babies. Every single infant tracked through the system since 2016 has been adopted. And until Tuesday in Seymour, Indiana had not had an abandonment in almost four years. There are 14 baby boxes statewide right now, 18 all across the country. The Safe Haven Hotline has had nearly 5,000 calls to date. It is staffed 24 hours, and it lets women talk to a trained professional as they consider surrendering their baby. Now, here's that hotline for you. You see it right here on the screen. We also have this posted for you on WTHR.com. John? Indiana's latest baby box was installed just this afternoon in East Chicago. Another will go in in Fortville on Monday. Now, of course, this is a story Eyewitness News will continue to follow very closely as police continue to search for the infant's mother. You can follow us online and using the WTHR News app for any breaks in this case.